It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, we have an unfamiliar bottle, a bottle that has not graced our table before. What do we have? We have Old Forester, the President's Choice. Looking for one of these, been wanting one of these. Well, it kind of makes sense that we haven't seen one in a while because it's not, it's a limited release, but it's not like an annual release. They're not on a certain schedule with them. Only when a certain barrel meets the criteria of being, you know, exceptional and worthy of this label yeah. do they release, you know, uh, one of these President's right. Choices. President's Choices. But this is about 10 years old, uh, was 110.3 proof. Mm -hmm. They say that these releases will range between seven and 12 years and 105 to 120 proof. So this falls right there falls, in the middle. Falls within there. Yeah. Now on the label, it says this election aged 10 summers. It doesn't say years, summers. Summers. Because on the back here, it says this whiskey has been aged at least 118 months, which is 9.833 repeating. So, so it's just close. about yeah, very 10, just, just a bit shy outside. of 10 years. Right. Um, uh, now, yeah. how did we get a bottle that we thought we'd probably never own? Uh, Kismet, I guess you could say. So I was in Louisville uh, on some business and our friend Brett was there, is, is in Louisville, lives in Louisville works in Louisville and he was at Old Forester uh, a little bit before they opened and they had this, uh, what do they call those, uh, like a streamline trailer? Oh, an Airstream. Airstream, streamline. Well, it's very streamlined, Airstream. And uh, they were, they had like coffee and cookies and stuff and lemonade and, and he was like, can I get a coffee? And they're like, no, we're not opening until um, until the event starts. And he's like, what event? And they were like, Nee. I don't know. I'm that's me editorializing that they were like me. <laughs> I don't think anybody was like T -t -t -t. no. I think they said I don't know. We were just told to be here. Uh, so, he knew Old Forester was getting ready to have an event. So, he, being a good friend and knowing that I was in Louisville, gave me a ring a ding ding. I was actually on Whiskey Row. I was close to Old Forester, so I trucked on down there and we ended up being a third and fourth in line for what ended up being the President's Choice release. Apparently emails went out uh, at nine o'clock, they open at 10. Whoa. But before they even opened, look at this line that had formed just from people getting that email at 9 a.m. and being close enough and available to go stand in line. That's wild. And so after I got this, walked more down Whiskey Row, came back at 10, no, 11, and this is what the line still looked like. And I heard they had a lot of bottles, so hopefully everyone <laughs> Got it, but that. I, I just hope everybody had fun. <laughs> right. You know? So that's bourbon hunting or the, you know, bourbon life in Kentucky. That just reminds right me of like how things kind of used to be, like with the lines, and it was just if you hear about it in time, you get in line and mm -hmm. you, you just hope for the best. Right. Some people hated that method and they now prefer the lotteries or the point systems or whatever, but I guess I'm a little nostalgic for that era of bourbon hunting. Yeah, for sure. You still see it sometimes as with this, but not as often as you used to. And I don't know, it tugs my heartstrings a little. <laughs> well, Sarah, I want to get right into it. We've had this board for a little bit, but we covered up with our lens covers here. So it would both open up, but not, you know, completely. We didn't lose the nose or anything. Oh, right, I tried that nose. <laughs> now, I've got it. <laughs> I, I, go ahead. I went too quickly in and I was not prepared for that nose. I was not prepared. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I got a preview of this at the distillery before you went into the gift shop they, they had and we all did a cheers. Uh, they had some poured there. So I have tasted this. Not today, not from this particular bottle, but I have tasted it. Well, I'll just say this, based on their sort of description that these releases are going to be only of the most exceptional barrels, just from that nose alone. I haven't tasted it yet. Obviously this is an expensive bottle. It's a limited bottle. Does it need any more hype from us being like, ooh, ah. No, it doesn't, but we're here to tell you if you stood in that line or <clears> if you were thinking about buying this, should you or should you not? And all I'm saying is that from the nose, it meets expectations there or go. exceeds expectations. Yeah. Now I'm, I am getting a little bit of the signature Old Forester uh, banana, but it's more buried under there and it's more like Banana Fosters in a very exceptional way. Uh, but more, it's the oak, it's the brown sugar. 
Uh, and I might be just picking up that banana because I know it's Old Forester and I'm looking for it, right? Yeah, this is such rich, layered oaky notes. Dessertiness, just. Yeah, mm. yes, brown sugar, molasses. Maybe a little bit of honey under there too. Like it's torch sugar, like the top. I, we've talked about this before, but like torch sugar, like creme brulee topping, brulee, which is yeah. basically caramelized sugar, but to like crystallized. I don't know how you it's want to say it. It's a fancy way to say it. I'm, are you ready to dig in? Because <sighs> I am. I mean, I could sit with this nose all day, but let's dig in. To your health. Yeah. Yep. Well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. This is bad news for all other bourbons. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I know we're just fanning the flames of FOMO. And, That's what and I'm saying. We, we hate that part of it. I do. We do, but we- But I want to give it a genuine reaction. And we do want to share when we come upon something new. Because, you know, with the old Forrester line, some of their more limited releases, like we're not the biggest fans of recent years of the birthday bourbon. You know, mm. they've been, yeah, they're fine. They get a lot of hype also, they people do. stand in line for them. But for us, it's not exactly the Mark and Old Forester. Maybe it's, the, it hits it with the age, you know, right. they're, they're up there and I don't know what it is about those, but just doesn't quite hit it for us. Now this. <laughs> now you can also compare this to another exceptional, uh, made by Brown Foreman, King of Kentucky, but that's cast strength and that's just gonna be hard to compare these two because this not being cast strength. I think I might rather this. I don't know. I think this proof and the level of oak is perfect. It's exceptional. This may be the best thing I've tasted all year. I know well, that there are people in the comments mm. right now saying, thanks a lot for telling us something <laughs> about something we'll never have. But it's our chat, like that's what we're supposed it's to our, do, is go find new things and taste them and let you know about them and whether or not we recommend or not. In our general experience, like, this is the type of thing that gets me super excited. The price does not get me super excited. We're gonna talk about the price here in a second, but we wanna hit pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com where there's things priced a lot lower than uh, what we had to spend lot. to get this, like uh, this t-shirt, the hat that I'm wearing, the Glen Cairns, and those lens covers there that we use to keep the, those pesky summer mm -hmm. gnats. Our and new tasting to, sets? And to trap the nose. The new tasting sets which have actual, yeah, um, Elevated lenses, you have the handle on there and you can place it on there. It's more of a lid. Uh, and also the Glen Cairns in there. Bottle cut kennels and more that's always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And we will be giving a lucky patron a sample of this here president's choice. What? Yes, we Do will. Not talk about that's this. That's right, Chad. We will be giving them a sample because that's what they get. Fine. The opportunity for things like that as okay. patrons who support and love the channel. And yeah. um, they also get access to our exclusive barrel picks. We just had a couple starlights come out. Bowman Brothers, very exciting stuff going on there. Rare uh, character exceptionals. Rare character exceptionals coming, coming soon. soon. Mm -hmm. Wild Turkey, Russell's Reserve pick. Uh, uh, gonna happening. pick that in July. Yep. So lots of exciting stuff going on over there on Patreon. Okay. We're gonna, I mean, we'll, we'll let it sit. Let's sit. We'll let, let it sit let here it sit. For, for even longer, but we'll be right back. Okay, now for some quick history. Born out of a concept in 1890, president of Old Forester, George Garvin Brown, gifted a barrel of bourbon to the governor of Kentucky as a one-time gift. Fast forward to 1964, his predecessor, George Garvin Brown II, decided to bring the concept back as a single barrel program calling it President's Choice because it was only offered to presidents and executives of other companies, a single barrel that was bottled and labeled special for that president. Old Forrester says that this was the first single barrel selection ever offered on the market, though it really wasn't on the market now, was it exactly? At least not to consumers. That program lasted until 1971, but it was brought back in its modern configuration as higher aged single barrels. The single barrel that we're trying is President's Choice number 66. I'm, just, I'm just thrilled to get back into this. It's been long enough. I can't wait any longer. Okay, here we go. Back to the nose. More it's caramel, brown sugar, more. It gave me goosebumps. I, I don't know. It's it's. It's that the character of the oak yeah, and I, a little I bit of the tobacco. It, I think it's that character. character. Like it's not just oak. It's very layered. Yeah. You get. It's like a warm, enveloping oak. The perfect amount for me. Someone who is a little sensitive when things are overly oaky. Right. I, I mean, I'm just running out of words for this one. <laughs> and I really hate that because I like well, to be able to use my words. Let's talk about, well, hold on. I haven't even had a second okay. uh, sip after the break. So let's do that. 
One thing we have failed to mention yeah. is that texture. Mm -hmm. That mouthfeel. Exceptional mouthfeel. That mouth is an feel. exceptional mouthfeel. It's yeah. buttery. It's buttery smooth, baby. Wow. I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It kind of is butter. $225, $225. Is the stickler there and very limited. This is one yeah. where I would I would say you see a pour at a bar and for, for a reasonable you want to, yeah. it's a special occasion or you see a reasonable price on it. I would get that for yourself if it's a birthday, yeah. an anniversary or whatever. Treat yourself. Y yeah, if it's a birthday, don't go for birthday bourbon because that's just too obvious. It's too, do <laughs> you this. Go for person's choice. And I, and I feel like, Sarah, there's, you know, becoming or there has become or we're adding to this echelon of whiskeys that deserve, like, if, if you're... Uh, chugging along on your bourbon journey and you're and you're looking to sort of level up or have more experience points however you want to look at it there's ones that deserve digging into that pocketbook a little bit more than you normally would on a just a standard night so like special occasion or birthday anniversary mm -hmm. da, 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 da. and I think you know this is on there if you're never able to buy a Michter's 10 year for their normal price mm. a Michter's 10 Pappy just to have like an opinion on it, but I mean, it's I not like it's like, so BTAC definitely falls yeah, on that list. BTAC, WLW, Dorsey Stag, you know. Things um, like that. Ones like that. Where yeah. it's, you don't necessarily have to own a bottle and buy no. a bottle and shell out all that money to have experienced it and have but thoughts on it. It's worth that price of a pour to experience it then at the moment. If you're able to, it's if, a luxury item. Right, so yeah. if you are able to, if and able also to. for the right occasion, Another reason why we do this, I don't want your special occasion pour that you shell out a bunch of money for at a bar to be disappointing, you know? I hope that these episodes guide you all to make those kinds of decisions right. too. Like, we don't want you to feel that you've wasted your money. Yeah. We want you to get the most bang for your buck when you decide that it's time for that special pour. King of Kentucky, if you're a proof found, I would also put that oh, on that yeah, list. I would put that um, on the list. But if you're not into high proofs, I would probably- I would go with this one. <laughs> definitely dead. go with but this honestly, one. honestly, this yeah. is, if you like King of Kentucky, I think you, I mean, I know this <laughs> yeah. isn't cast strength, but that mm -hmm. proof, I mean, it's got a nice hug. It, it does, does have a good hug. It, it, it stays, it stays um, on the palate with the proof, and it okay. is, it does give a nice Kentucky hug. Um, now, you know, some people are going to point out, like on paper, it's not that impressive. It's not even quite ten For years. For two twenty-five, it's one hundred and ten proof, and it's two hundred twenty-five dollars. But I think this goes to show. This is a perfect example of why age and proof are not everything. We cannot Correct. solely base our decisions on. Well, it's not even ten years. Right. So you know what? It's perfect as it is at 9.83 years or whatever it is. Yeah. They pulled it at the right time. 118 somebody, months. Somebody t tasted like it and baby. was like, this is ready to go right now. I don't care that it's not 10 years. We could wait another month or two, but what would that have done? I think they picked the perfect proof for all of those notes to shine. Of course, I'm a huge proponent. I think we both are of cast mm -hmm. strength just to be able to allow you to decide. Sure. But I think if they're going to make a decision for me, this is a great one. Yeah, I think this is a good example of a bottle that reminds you that age and proof are not the end all be all when it comes to making decisions about how much money you're willing to spend. I don't know what else to say. It's great. Uh, it is uh, unquirking, so we have to recommend or not. Yeah, 225, I recommend it. I mean, yeah, it's one of the most, if it's not the best bottle I've had all year, it's up there. I can't wait to see Going where it comes in out in the, in the running. Yeah. Um, I can't say that and not recommend it. Mm -hmm. I just, with the thoughts that we said before, and that you won't likely be able to buy a bottle of this, but you may be able to buy a pour. Right. And if you do see one, I think you should get it. Absolutely. Because we do, you know, fairly often get questions about, hey, I'm looking for a special bottle. I've got around two to 250 to spend. Now, this on secondary. you being able to find it at retail is going to be tough. But if you happen to. If you happen to. There you go. It's Fine. something to keep an eye out for. It is. That's where we better leave it. As we're, we're gonna better. go drink more of this. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to us already, what are you waiting for? You can go ahead and do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here and hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. All right, until next time, drink more bourbon. Mm -hmm.